So let's all take a look at Beetle Adventure Racing for the Nintendo 64. This is it. I wonder if this website still works. Nope. But the cartridge still does, proving that cartridges are better than the internet. One of the first screens you'll see when you start the game is a giant Volkswagen logo, which kind of makes the game seem like a big advertisement, which it kind of is. Uh, the only car in the game is the new Beetle, or at least it was the new Beetle back in 1999 when the game was released. But despite the product tie-in, uh, this game is loads and barrels of fun. Buckets of fun. Station wagons. Fun station wagons. There aren't any station wagons in the game, though. So the title of Beetle Adventure Racing is straight and to the point, because the game really is about beetles racing adventurously. The single player game modes are fairly typical, there's time trials, single races, and the championship mode. The championship mode is on the surface pretty standard in that you race some courses, try to finish in the top three each race, and finish first in the overall points to win the championship and unlock a harder one. There's only six tracks, which sounds like a small amount, but they are pretty long and have many different paths. Scattered around the course are nitro boxes, which give a speed boost, hidden flower boxes that will unlock cheats, and point boxes. Collect enough point boxes and you earn a continue, and if you get all 100 points on a track, you unlock a new arena for beetle battle mode, which I'll talk about in a bit. The adventuring aspect is what gives the championship mode some length and challenge. In order to get all 100 points, you'll have to find all the different routes you can take in order to plan a way to get all the boxes while still finishing the race in the top three. You'll see a box way up in the air and wonder, how the heck could you reach that? Time trial mode is very helpful for this because even though the point boxes won't be on the course, you can take your time and explore the level and find all the paths, uh, some of which are cleverly hidden. And maybe you can even find places to go outside the course and explore there. There's some multiplayer modes as well. There's two-player split-screen racing, which is fun, but there's no CPU-controlled vehicles on the course with you. Then there's Beetle Battle Mode, which has up to four players battling with beetles. There's weapons and power-ups to grab, but the ultimate goal is not getting the most kills. It's to be the first to pick up six ladybugs and make it to the exit. I haven't done much with the multiplayer modes, but the single-player mode is excellent. This was the game I bought along with my Nintendo 64 back in 99, and I applaud 15 years ago me for making a fine choice. I guess if you're only interested in straight racing and the adventuring and having to collect lots of boxes doesn't sound appealing to you, then maybe this isn't the best game? Uh, but I think it would still be fun, because the courses are really detailed and well designed. And while the environments are not so different from any other game, in Beetle Adventure Racing, it feels like those environments are real places. Especially Metro Madness, the city course. There's just so many different side streets and ways to go, it feels like you're racing through a city, rather than just on a track decorated to look like a city. So yeah, uh-huh, yep, 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 yep. That's a little look at a game called Beetle Adventure Racing. And now, let's stop looking at it. <laughs>